Hey, what's up guys and gals? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use nested styles. So I've already built out a few paragraph and character styles. You can see in the paragraph styles panel, I have a paragraph style called course description simple. And that paragraph style is already applied to this text. So you can see if I just put my cursor in that paragraph or highlight the text, you can see that course description simple is already applied. You'll also see a few character styles that I already pre-built. And I'm gonna show you why I pre-built those and how you can use those inside of your paragraph styles. So the idea here is, let's say you have, let's say you have a catalog or restaurant listings, you know, and there's like 500 of them. <laughs> you don't wanna keep, you know, highlighting text and applying styles. So if we wanted, in this case, this happens to be like, you know, a, a college course catalog. So if there is a hundred of these listings and we want the course name to be bold and a color, we don't wanna have to highlight all 500 of those, you know, listings and then make them bold and make them a color. That's too tedious. So what you wanna do is, first of all, think ahead. Think what you want to happen. So I'm gonna to go to the type menu and I'm going to show hidden characters because what that does, look at the text. Once I select that, see how we can see all the hidden characters in here, the paragraph breaks and everything. You even see this little guy right here. This is an end space. And I'll show you why that's important. It doesn't really have to be an end space. It could be a dash, it could be a colon, but you need something to signify to uh, InDesign where you want the bold color to stop. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to drill into this paragraph style by right clicking and selecting edit course description. It takes me to the paragraph style options. I want to go down to drop cap and nested styles and I'm going to bypass drop caps and I'm going to go to nested styles. So it's asking me here, what's the first thing that should happen? So if I click on new nested style, what's the first thing that should happen? It should be the course name, right? Survey of graphic design. So I go to my nested styles and notice these are the same character styles that I pre-built. Now, if I didn't pre-built it, pre-build it, I could just go to new character style and build one on the fly. But in this case, I already pre-built some. So I'm gonna say course name, right? That's what I want to happen first. And I want it to go through, and there's a couple options. There's through and up to. Now I'm gonna do through, I'm gonna go through, and you can see it starting to develop over here. Now it's like, okay, where do you want me to go through? Where do you want me to stop? So I'm gonna say go through one, and you can see these are editable. And then where it says words, notice there's a bunch of stuff here. You know, you could go up to, you know, a colon, a semicolon, a dash, you know, if you wanted to be a certain character. Now, in this example, we have a, the delimiter, the stopping point is the end space. So I'm gonna select end space. So we have the course name going through one end space. And if we hit the preview button a couple times, you can see here, that's exactly what it's doing. It's applying this character style, which is bold and orange in all caps, and it's going through this end space and stopping and then resuming with the um, existing paragraph style that's already applied. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and say okay to that, meaning if I were to put my cursor at the bottom and start typing in uh, another class name, like let's say, I don't know, graphic design. Let's just put graphic design. And if I were to add an end space, like let's say here, which is command shift N, there's my delimiter. And then if I start typing again, see how it just resumes with the course description paragraph style up here. Okay, so if you have a ton of listings, just ahead of time, think of ahead of time what you want the stopping point to be and build that into, let's say your Word document or your, your text document, whatever you're doing it in, so that when you get over here, it's easy to apply. Now, these are just character styles built in to the paragraph style. So for instance, if I wanted to change the color of these listings, all 500 of them, all I would need to do is right click on course name, edit it, 
and change the color from orange to let's say blue and say OK and they change on all 500 listings just like that because these character styles are built into the paragraph style right so just to review if I right click to edit this and go to drop caps and nested styles you can see here the nested style is the course name going through one end space all right and play around with different delimiters doesn't have to be an end space it could be a dash you know could be a colon but that is how you create nested styles uh, for multiple listings in InDesign.